in uh, last class we are basically discussing about the structure function and different uh, parts of the neurons and the uh, mm, process by which uh, the neurotransmission are occurrence how action potential is generated and how it will uh, from presynaptic uh, terminal to uh, postsynaptic terminal the neurotransmitter are get released bind to the specific type of receptor and produce the specific type of the pharmacological response now today we are basically concentrated on the neurotransmitter which involved in the cns or central nervous system in cns there is a different different type of the neurotransmitter available um, like glutam glu uh, glutamate which is excitatory and gaba which is inhibitory so today's topic we are basically discussing about the inhibitory neurotransmitter that is known as gaba or gamma amino butyric acid so uh, first of all uh, the cns which mainly contain uniquely high concentration of certain amino acid notably what are the amino acid they are the glutamate and gamma amino butyric acid gaba the decarbox uh, carboxylic amino acid like glut glutamate or aspartate which basically responsible for the excitatory activity of the or excitatory response of the central nervous system while monocarboxylic acid amino acid like gaba and glycine which mainly mediated the inhibitory stimuli so several therapeutic classes have been in recent uh, year found and elicit their pharmacological and therapeutic efficacy by modulating the neurotransmission in the cns of this amino acid as a neurotransmitter now generally uh, we can believe that the overall excitability of the cns and inhibitory uh, modulated by the balance physiological activity of the two amino acid or you can see that the two neurotransmitter so what is this one is gaba that is the inhibitory and another one is glutamic acid that is excitatory so by balancing this excitation and inhibition they maintain the homeostasis of the cns and secondly there is a glycine a secondary inhibitory amino acid which also act as a neurotransmitter which is primarily localized in the brain stem and spinal cord hence drug that depress the cns excitability such as the <coughs> sedative drug hypnotic drug and <coughs> anxiolytic may do so so what they do uh, first of all they enhancing or facilitating the gaba neurotransmission either they enhance or facilitate the release of uh, ne gaba neurotransmitter neither they reducing or interfering with the glutamate neurotransmitter means because glutamate is excitatory if we stop the activity of the glutamate so already there is no excitation so it will maintain the balanced state so drug action that could theoretically achieve gaba mimetic or gaba mimetic response which include either we stimulate of the biosynthesis and release of the gaba then we can use any gaba receptor agonist and we can use the inhibitor of the gaba metabolism because if gaba will get metabolized then the inhibitory activity we will also loss so in this way we are achieve the inhibitory activity of the uh, neurotransmitter which is uh, uh, gaba either gaba mimetic or gaba minergic okay so this is the main fundamental thing or either you can else you can use any antagonist which can uh, depress the activity of the releasing of neurotransmitter glutamate because that is the excitatory so you can get the inhibitory or balanced status of that cns part now already last uh, class i discussed this one uh, so there is a uh, generation of the action potential at the presynaptic terminal after uh, uh, coming an action potential there is depolarization and allowing the calcium ion enter inside the cell 
so in uh, inside the uh, presynaptic uh, there is a vesicle the vesicle which contain the neurotransmitter then this calcium influence the uh, releasing of the neurotransmitter opening or closing of the channel co causes the change in the postsynaptic membrane potential then action potential propagate through uh, into next cell then it will bind to the uh, postsynaptic neurotransmitter uh, and show the pharmacological action and after that neurotransmitter is get inactivated or it will reuptake in the presynaptic terminal so this is the general phenomenon how an action potential reach uh, uh, in the nerve terminal and how it will uh, capable of releasing the neurotransmitter in the synaptic lab and synaptic lab how it will bind to the postsynaptic receptor after binding to the postsynaptic receptor there is a various cascade are going on they may be depend upon the ion channel they may be depend upon the g protein couple receptor uh, so by de depending upon their character and depending upon their nature they will show the their pharmacological property and after that the neurotransmitter will get inactivated or metabolized or it will reuptake into the presynaptic terminal so gamma amino butyric acid it's a major neurotransmitter in mammalian central nervous system uh, present in the nerve terminal release from electrically stimulated neurons gaba function by binding to the specific transmembrane receptor present in the plasma membrane so now how gaba is synthesized basically it is synthesized from the glutamate that is amino acid l glutamic acid in presence of gad that is glutamate decarboxylase enzyme and in also involved in the unc25 gene so glutamic acid decarboxylase present in neuron pancreatic cell and body fluid glutamic acid decarboxylate act as a catalyst that remove the carboxylic group from the glutamate and produce the GABA. If you uh, see the structure, here you can see that there is a in glutamate there is a carboxylic group and in this case uh, gamma amino butyric acid in this case the, the carboxylic group is removed by the help of enzyme glutamate decarboxylase. Now you can see that glutamine in mitochondria it is converted to glutamate then with the help of enzyme uh, glutamate uh, glutamic acid decarboxylase it is converted to GABA then it is in vesicle enter into the vesicle store into the vesicle then previous uh, uh, section a uh, previous uh, uh, picture where action potential come and there is the entry of calcium I, I am discussing in that uh, slide if you go through you can see that there is a uh, coming of action potential entry of the calcium and this calcium influence the re re release of the neurotransmitter from the uh, uh, vesicle where the neurotransmitter are stored and then it's come to the synaptic lab from that synaptic lab it bind to the post synaptic receptor and in this case post synaptic receptor that is uh, ion channel which will directly activate or deactivate the ion channel and responsible for the pharmacological action but in case of uh, post synaptic in case of the synaptic left if you observe that there is a number 5 where the GABA is further uh, returned back to the vesicle where GABA is further returned back to the vesicle and number 6 you can see that with the help of GABA transporter GABA is converted to the glutamate then with the help of glutamine synthetase it is converted to the glutamine then with the help of glutamine transporter it is further converted to the glutamine in the presynaptic terminal so wherever from glutamine to GABA and this GABA bind to the postsynaptic receptor and activated the ion channel and so the pharmacological response and the other amount of the neurotransmitter that is reuptake into the vesicle and some are further converted to the glutamine into the presynaptic terminal this is the overall uh, um, overall uh, synthesis storage and release and activation of the GABA receptor GABA uh, as a neurotransmitter 
then if we come to the receptor GABA exact its main effect by two types of the receptor there is GABA A and GABA B receptor uh, this uh, they are differ in their pharmacological and biochemical property GABA A is a inotropic and GABA B is it's a metabotropic means G protein coupled receptor so GABA receptor are basically channel receptor means channel oriented re receptor ion channel oriented receptor so if we consider the GABA A receptor a ligand gated receptor stimulation uh, result in increase the uh, release of the neurotransmitter GABA which bind to the GABA A receptor then this will uh, uh, increase the permeability of the chlo chloride ion which rising in the post synaptic membrane threshold potential that is act as an inhibitory this receptor is heterogeneous uh, pa pentamer consisting of the various uh, number and type alpha beta and gaba subunit at least six different alpha subunit three different beta subunit and three different gamma subunit and other subunit have been identified different types and combination of the subunit confer different pharmacological property on different different receptor so here you can see that it's a pentameric structure alpha beta alpha beta then gamma so there is a GABA binding site there is a benzodiazepine binding site there is a ethanol uh, there is a neurosteroid then there is a barbiturate binding site so here you can see that uh, if this binding site it will influence or ultimately leads to the opening of the chloride channel so chloride ion are enter inside the cell and provide the inhibitory activity so here you can see that this is the GABA site uh, in uh, lower on picture where GABA will bind this is the GABA site this is the benzodiazepine site and this is the GABA site and this is the chlorine pore then after binding this GABA or benzodiazepine uh, this uh, they are responsible for the opening of the chlorine pore and responsible for the showing the inhibitory activity so in mechanism uh, you can see that activation of the GABA A receptor uh, the endogenous GABA inositol or exogenous any drug which are uh, act as a GABA agonist they are responsible for the opening of the central pore so there is a increase the influx of calcium ion through the pore hyperpolarization of the neuronal membrane and decrease the occurrence of an action potential so inhibition of the neurotransmitter and transmission of the signal from that one by this way GABA A receptor are mainly work out then GABA A alpha subunit benzodiazepine receptor several subtype characterized including the benzodiazepine 1 and benzodiazepine 2 subtype and then there is a beta subunit which mainly involved in the binding of the GABA and also involved in the binding of the drug like barbiturate and picrotoxin then there is GABA B receptor it is a presynaptic link to the G protein which basically influence the potassium conduction means it will hyperpolarize the nervous system and inhibit the voltage sensitive calcium channel and inhibition of the transmitter release so as the first picture where action potential come calcium enter and from basical calcium will influence the release of uh, from basical calcium will influence the release of the neurotransmitter so here you can see that GABA agonist bind to this binding site it's a G protein couple receptor and it's basically inhibit the second messenger CMP but it will influence the uh, uh, potassium opening the potassium channel but it will inhibit the calcium channel so calcium are not able to enter inside the cell if calcium are not able to inside the cell then calcium are not able to uh, uh, influence the release of the neurotransmitter from the vesicle so in this way you will get the inhibitory action of the GABA this is the GABA B receptor type then there is physiological role uh, it's the ch already uh, I discuss uh, it is the cheap inhibitory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system it's basically counteract the glutamate which is excitatory neurotransmitter via the uptake of negatively charged chloride ion to pass through the 
postsynaptic neuron hence postsynaptic neurons will less response to the excitatory neurotransmitter thus gaba has an act as a sedative or tranquilizing effect on brain so there are other lots of uh, action uh, pharmacological action of gaba is also there so in cns part we will come to different different disease and different different and uh, uh, disease uh, disease and in different different disease uh, there is a gaba agonist gaba antagonist we will discuss and you will get more idea about that one now for this uh, presentation of this uh, making this uh, ppt i will using this uh, reference uh, so thank you i hope all of you understood uh, that's all